All right, about two and a half hours later, here we are with some homemade seppelline in New York City. All right. <laughs> yes, and some pink soup to accompany the dish. As you can see, this soup is vibrant pink, hence the name, which is called Charity Barashche in Lithuanian. Translated to cold borscht, Charity is cold, Barashche is borscht. It has shredded beets, chopped cucumber, scallions, dill, and kefir. Well, in this case, we use plant based kefir. It's a nice, refreshing soup. Yes, and it looks beautiful. All of this. Thank you so much. But now, getting into the seppelline, how do they taste? And was all that time, energy, and effort worth it? Absolutely. Aside from the process, what makes seppelline so unique and special is the texture. Mashed potatoes, grated pulp, and the starch all combined creates this soft, chewy, a bit springy texture that you wouldn't find in any other dish. It's a bit hard to explain. It sure is. In short, it's something better experienced rather than explained. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm from Lithuania. I was born in Vilnius, my mom is Lithuanian, and I was introduced to Sepline a long time ago. But in the last several years, I haven't had this dish very often because of a couple main reasons. One, I'm not sure where to find Sepline in New York or America in general. And two, even if I did find a place that makes Sepline here or elsewhere, chances are they probably wouldn't be vegan. So I'm left with either just not having them, making them myself, which I've never done, or having someone decide to take on the challenge of making them homemade and vegan like the ones right here. So you got thank you so much for this wonderful gesture. No problem. It definitely is a process to make and a dish unlike any other I've made. So for anyone who doesn't know, I am from Tokyo, Japan, and I first learned about Tepeline after meeting Arthur and exploring uh, Lithuanian cuisine. In my first Tepeline making attempt, I had never even tasted Tepeline before. Not even once, so I was basically guessing without knowing what it all entails, following online recipes. At the time, we didn't have a potato grinding machine, so we had to grind potatoes by hand with a small handheld manual grinder. I remember that they came out very gray, unlike the ones on the pictures online, looking very unappetizing. But we ate them, and they were good, solid nonetheless. The taste was there and they were vegan. And as your first time, you did a great job. But I know you weren't satisfied and still didn't know if you made them right. So for the next time, I think we went to my parents' home and you made them with my mom, right? Yeah, that's when I learned Tepeline making 101, including the lemon and vitamin C trick to prevent potatoes from getting oxidized. And because this coloration happens very fast, the moment potatoes are ground, they start turning pinkish, then eventually to dark brown. Yeah, so timing is very important, as well as doing certain things fast during certain moments. So, now, from your years of cooking, what would you say makes Sepline different from other dishes you've made? Well, definitely the appliance, which is optional, but it helps to make the process much easier. I grew up having a rice cooker, but not a potato grinding machine. I didn't even know that was even a thing. Well, for Lithuanians at least. Other than that, growing up in Japan, I don't recall having a big variety of potato dishes. In general, potato consumption in Japan feels much less than in Europe or in the US. What I mean, you boil it, fry it, bake it, steam it, what else? Well, yeah, that's something that makes Sepline so unique and interesting to me is the different ways in which potatoes are used in one single dish. Like this idea of stretching what a potato can do. The combination of mashed potatoes mixed with potato pulp from strained grated potatoes mixed with potato starch that separated from the liquid from the grated potatoes. Like, wow, that's one way to make some potato dough from just potatoes. <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly. As a quick side note, for tepeline, you want to use potatoes with high starch content, such as russet potatoes, or in the United States. And this is very important. In my understanding, potatoes can be very watery in certain countries. I heard that potatoes in the US are more watery than those in Europe. Now, as for the sauce, it seems that people in Lithuania like to have lots of sour cream and fried bacon on top. But I like to eat it with mushroom sauce. 
It is a great combination with the soft yet chewy, somewhat springy, this unique texture of Cipollina dough. And as for stuffing, I believe that basics is ground pork. But I have only eaten the vegan version with the plant-based meat alternative, even though I'm not vegan. Yeah, so speaking about the stuffing, it can also be with varshkite, which is basically a combination of cottage cheese and sour cream, or for the vegan version, you could have tofu, lemon juice, salt, and sour cream to generate a similar texture and maybe taste. We don't have varshkite in this batch, but sometimes doing half the batch with the meat stuffing and the other half with varshkite is a good bet. Yeah, I think I made them before with varshkite, but this time just the meat stuffing only. But I'm not the biggest fan of plant-based meat alternatives, so I'm interested in exploring stuffing options with different vegetables such as king oyster mushroom, Jerusalem artichoke, celery root, maybe some buckwheat, barley, and even some nuts and seeds. It could be quite interesting to experience how those stuffings would taste in cepheline, but in this case, these that you made here with the plant-based meat stuffing were very well done. Well, for me at least. Fantastic, actually. And with the pink soup, so good. Thank you so much for this lunch on. You're very welcome. And thank you to Daiva, your mom, for all the tips, tricks, and ratios, because without those, these tipolinis wouldn't turn out like this. Yes, thank you, mom, so much for your help with the information and knowledge to help make these tipoline happen this way. They were delicious. And with that said, as we wrap up, if anyone out there is up for the challenge of making their own version of cepeline, whether vegan or not, homemade, please let us know and share your experience. Well, all right, that does it for this cepeline meal. Thank you so much for joining us. And achu. Yes, achu, which means thank you in Lithuanian and ata or visogaro. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.